Indian Airlines announces the departure of their flight IC408 to Calcutta. Passengers are requested to proceed to the aircraft. Barry Peters is in extreme pain. He has an arthritic hip which leaves him in agony when he walks just a few yards. Today, though, he's traveling 4,000 miles. Good evening. It's a dilemma that millions of people needing surgery have faced. Wait for an operation on the NHS and suffer months of agonizing pain, or go private and get into thousands of pounds worth of debt. Now, though, an increasing number of people are choosing a different option. They're going abroad for treatment and to countries where private medical care costs just a fraction of what it does in the UK. A patients like Barry are going in the opposite direction. Fed up of waiting lists in Britain, he's having his hip replaced in India. He the medical team have discovered further deterioration in Barry's leg since his last x-ray in Britain four months ago. It means Dr. Galati is having to perform a full rather than partial hip replacement. Yesterday I told him good luck and he told me I don't like good luck, I did good skill. At the end of three hours the hip is replaced and the operation deemed a success. But according to the surgeon, it's come just in time. What are the consequences of people waiting months and months for the sort of operations you do? Uh, basically, first of all, uh, pain, and secondly, if they have to wait for a very long time, then things can go worse. Because suppose and Barry needn't feel alone, because there are other Brits in the hospital too. Karen Holman travelled from her home in West Sussex because she couldn't get her NHS knee operation done quickly enough. What happened? You, you, were, you were basically, you were waiting and in pain, weren't you? Yes, you I was. It was unacceptable. Yeah, absolutely unacceptable. But thanks to her three and a half thousand pounds treatment in India, Karen's now walking without pain for the first time in years. They've changed my life. Yeah, they've seen me, they've x-rayed, they've used the MRI scan, and then they've operated. And, you know, they did one leg and then the other one started hurting. And they didn't, they didn't say, no, we won't do it. They've actually done that one as well. So they've changed my life. 14-year-old Elliot Knott, one of a growing number of people opting to travel abroad for medical treatment rather than wait for the NHS. Well, Elliot's now had an operation on his back and he's had it in India. Five's Peter Lane was there to see how it went. Dr. Yash Galati learnt his trade and started his career in Britain. Now he's treating British patients once again, but this time in his native India. Patients like 14-year-old Elliot Knott, who was in too much pain to wait a whole year for the NHS to repair the back he damaged ice skating. It's shocking that I have to come here to get it done, but I don't think I'd have like, coped, really, because a year just, like, sat and... Dr Galati invites us in to watch the op. Provided we can prove ourselves that we can provide healthcare of the same quality as people expect in developed countries like United Kingdom, sure, I mean, people will come. Thank you. Things are changing, and you know, it's a good sign. Why not? People are looking for service, and wherever service can be provided in a more economical and a good way, people will go. It's, uh, this world will ultimately become a small global village. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Like, there's hardly any pain now just like where the scar is, but well, e even now it's a lot better than like before the operation. Elliot Knott's back operation has cost his family 5,000 pounds. Have a good Bye. day, man. Bye. It's left him free from pain and able to walk again. This morning, for the first time in months, he was able to return to school. Mark Jordan with that report.